Hey everybody, um, Vinruki here. So I just wanted to make a quick video um, updating you guys on some of my thoughts and feelings towards Classic WoW now that I've had about 18 hours to play it over the course of the last two days. Um, now before I start, I want to say this is my second time recording this video. I kind of went on a really long-winded rant and I'm hoping I can consolidate my thoughts a little bit better in round two. Um, but yeah, I was one of those people that came up with every, like I was one of the naysayers of Classic WoW. You know, I'm a big arena player, so obviously Classic WoW doesn't have arena. I used to play this game way back in the day, and I really just felt like you, people are just, like, it's all nostalgia, you know what I mean? People are just experiencing nostalgia. Everyone is longing for what they had in the past, and it's not actually as good as people think. And I was wrong. It, it really is as good as people think, and there's a reason why I fell in love with this game. And after 12 hours of playing today, I forced myself to take a break, to go to the gym and you know, make some food and, you know, try to be somewhat healthy. And I wanted to come home. I want to play more, but I'm going to force myself to stop. But I'm having so much fun for many different reasons. The first thing I instantly realized when playing Classic WoW is everything's way harder. And I think a lot of people have the misunderstanding that things being difficult makes it not as fun, but it's actually the complete opposite. I feel way more immersed in my experiencing um, in my experience um, playing the game when pulling a single mob is difficult. If I accidentally pull two mobs, I gotta pull potions out of my butt. I gotta use all of my mana. I better be full HP or I am dead. If I pull three, good game, you know, and. I think the fact that you constantly have to be paying attention to what's going on, uh, I don't know, it makes it really fun to me. And I think that's one thing that current WoW doesn't really have is I don't feel like I'm paying attention as much. You know what I mean? You get way more quests on live. Like you're just blowing through the zones super fast. AOE pulling, you know, entire camps. And I think the pacing of vanilla I've really enjoyed where you kind of just slow down um, you know, items don't drop as fast, and uh, monsters are more difficult to kill. You have to drink between each pull. Like, a lot of people would find those things annoying, and I thought I would find those annoying, but I think it actually makes the leveling experience significantly better. Significantly better. I really enjoy the challenge, and I also feel really rewarded when I do complete a quest. If I've been farming the same monster... Let's, let's say there's a monster that needs to drop five items for me and it takes me 50 times to kill them that monster to get it like yeah sure that's annoying but while i'm doing the quest i'm grinding and getting experience and when i finally finish it i get like a really really rewarding feeling it's nice um another thing that's really nice is gear is super hard to come by so when you do get an upgrade it feels really really nice i think up until like level 15 i was still repping like almost all whites and now I have like some greens I have a single blue that I got in Wailing Caverns and getting those upgrades felt amazing and maybe I'll keep this gear for quite some time you can see I still have some white boots but it really is noticeable when you get a single upgrade of gear you get one piece of gear that has six intellect on it and three stamina and you actually can feel your spells hitting harder you can feel you know doing more damage which uh um the next thing um, I really want to talk about uh, the game is my ability to make friends. So I think on live, I've never talked to anybody. Like going out into the world, I've never like had a conversation with someone and invited them to my group. It's all just like automatic. You know how in BFA, you'll just go into a zone. Oh, cool. Group finder. I'm in. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. You don't even say thanks. You don't even say bye. You just join the group. You group up. You attack the monster, you leave the group, you never see those people again. I will tell you, and you might think it's because I'm a streamer, but it's actually not. Today, playing the game, I think I made like four or five, like four friends, and I added them to my friends list. This cankered warlock, I randomly found while doing a quest, and I ended up partying with him for four hours, and we just talked back and forth. And I think that has to do with the pacing of the game. I think that has to do with how difficult things are. There's red quests and orange quests where you don't have a choice. You need to party up with someone. Whereas on BFA, if I got an elite quest, if I have time like if I have uh, time warp and all my cooldowns, I can probably just take it down really, really fast. Not a chance on classic. 
and I, I just, I don't know. It really felt like I could make friends in the game, and I know you can do that on BFA. It sounds ridiculous when I say it out loud, but the the smaller world, the pacing of things, the difficulty, like the fact that you kind of walk around, you actually see people, and you can talk to people, and I don't know. It's 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 really really fun. Um, I've been really enjoying even just things like the music. I feel like the music is a lot more ambient um, in this game, so I can keep on like the loop music for a long period of time, and I really feel like I'm immersed in the zone. And like I said, I know you guys watching this video, you feel like I'm probably just full of it. I've gone crazy, but once you guys play it, I feel like you're going to. You, I don't know, maybe you won't feel the same way as me, but even just the music is really, really good. Um, like I said, the zones, the amount of quests they have and how difficult they are and how much you have to grind and how long you have to walk around. When you complete a zone, like Tears Fall Glades, for example, I can look at this map now and I, I know where, you know, I know the quests I had at Agamon Falls. I know all the quests I needed to do in Death Knell. I know that I had to run past this pumpkin farm and go to this tower to take out some, you know, I forget, some human guys. But you know what I mean? Like, because of how much effort I had to put into all these quests and I had to read the text of the quest, it doesn't just tell me exactly where to go. Like, that sense of discovery and wonder is really, really satisfying. Like, this, ex for example, like, it. I just, yeah, I like that I actually have to look at the quest. Kill the Dalaran Archmage, retrieve his staff in the Shadow Priest, uh, for Shadow Priest Alistair at the uh, Sepulcher. And then I read through the quest, and you must go, you must dis dispatch quickly when he is dead, retrieve his thing. The Archmage of Great Power is overseeing the reactivation of Lay Energy Node with the progression they have made. Our only hope of stopping them is killing him. It will be difficult. He is no doubt protected by many other majors and warders. So this doesn't even tell me where I need to go, but I need to try to find, I assume I have to go to Dalaran, but you know what I mean? There's no, there's no one on the map telling me exactly where I need to go. I have to actually read the quest. I have to uh, look at the road signs to figure out where I need to go. And I know a lot of you guys would say that sounds tedious, but I, I, genuinely found it enjoyable and also made me feel like I was actually immersed in a world. You know what I mean? I, I felt immersed in the game. So really experiencing the land through the music, the quests, the difficulty, um, the pacing uh, was really, really good. Like I said, making friends was awesome. Um, the talent tree is really nice as well. I really miss these old talent trees and this is something that I kind of hope comes back to the game. Um, I know eventually in like the Burning Crusade it got much more complicated and Wrath of the Lich King it got even significantly more complicated. There's just way too many talent points, but I feel like this is something I would love for them to have back in the game because although some of these choices feel like they're not that big of a deal, for example, Elemental Precision reduces that this is the this is the example of a talent that seems boring, but it's actually kind of fun. Reduces the chance that the opponent can resist your frost and fire spells by 6%. Okay, cool. Like, people aren't going to resist you as much. But by specking it, like, if I have that and another mage doesn't, I know that I'm going to have an advantage on them. Like, that's just, this is one of those talents that seems boring, but deep down, that's actually really, really good. You know, enemies aren't going to resist my spells as often, which actually is high impact when you're doing 20 or 30% of a monster's health in one fireball. You know what I mean? So... Little little decisions like that end up being big, and it feels like there's more customization of your character, um, which I uh, have also been enjoying. Um, but yeah, overall, I feel like I'm learning a lot. It's been nice to, you know, go through my spell book and have all these different abilities, <sighs> having fireball. Frost Nova, Frost, like having Fireball, having Frostbolt, having Arcane Missiles as a mage is really, really nice on live. Obviously, we know that's that's not the case. Um, yeah, I just, I've, I've been liking it a lot, guys. I'm excited for when it comes out. Right now, I'm learning how to AoE grind, and that is going to be my plan. I'm going to continue to stream on my mage. I'm 19. Once I hit around 21, that's when I'm just going to be going hardcore into AoE grinding. I'm going to be practicing uh, my rotation for live. I'm going to keep experiencing some of the dungeons 
um, which had been super fun as well. And yeah, I am really looking forward to you guys getting to try out the game. I'm hoping beta opens up a little bit and you guys can log on and try out the game if you've never tried it. If you really want to play it, you've played it in the past. I'm, I'm praying for you, my friends. I'm praying for you. This doesn't mean that, just to be clear, this doesn't mean that I'm quitting live at all. I'm still going to play the shit out of live. I still enjoy BFA, but I just think the leveling experience in Classic and the feeling of community and just the world in general is so much more immersive and fun. And it's kind of what I remember falling in love with the game. Look at this guy. This guy just waved at me. Hi, friend. That's what I'm saying. I'll remember this guy forever. Ellie. Not just because his name kind of reminds me. Say hi to YouTube. Let's see what he says. What's he going to do? What's up? <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if I just have crazy nostalgia right now. Cheer. Thank. Alright. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'm going to try to keep you guys updated. Let me know what your thoughts and feelings. Do you guys think I'm crazy? Like, do you guys have the same thoughts and feelings as me? I'm sure you've been able to watch some of your streamers and stuff. Um, some of your favorite streamers and stuff. And yeah, maybe you've even had a chance to play. But I've just... I just remember why I like the game so much. It's actually insane. Just little things like leveling up my wand skill are satisfying. I just love it, alright? I'm having fun. And maybe I'll get bored, but doesn't seem like it so far, alright? I'm looking forward to getting all the way to level 60 eventually when it does come out. Alright, my friends. Thank you. Signing out. And like I said, let me know uh, your thoughts and feelings towards the game and uh, what you think. If you guys like these kind of videos and you want more classic videos, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video and uh, I'll see you guys on my Twitch stream. Peace out, friends.